CPS trooper Ben Castillo gets in his patrol vehicle ready to hit the road. He spends most of his time patrolling I-19, looking for dangerous traffic violations that could cause collisions. He typically makes 8 to 15 stops during a shift. But that being said, he's responsible for a lot more than just pulling people over. Anything that that, that uh, the public on the interstate would need, we can do. We start to head north to help direct traffic after an accident near Green Valley. But then this call came in. So right now we're going to go to a, a brush fire. Right you don't get trained for this. So right here is a perfect example of these troopers doing more than just pulling people over. Look at this. They're assisting with putting out this brush fire right here along the highway. We've got Green Valley coming in also. We'll let them do their job from, from here on out. Back in the patrol vehicle, we start to head back north to that serious accident. Both lanes of I-19 north are blocked off. Traffic is at a standstill. Of course, it's going to be an orange Jeep Wrangler and a white DMC van. Lights and sirens on. We're on our way. As we get there, Castillo is tasked with working a minor accident within the traffic backup. Luckily, nobody was hurt in this one. I am going to issue you a ticket, okay, and that's for failure to control your speed to avoid a collision. Before leaving, one driver asked for some help. His battery died and he needed a jump. Trooper Castillo said he'd help out, and he reiterated to us they're there to patrol, but also to help. Thanks, sir. Appreciate You're welcome. So rush hour is now over. Traffic is flowing again, and Castillo can head back to Santa Cruz County. Typically, he spends most of his time patrolling there. Sometimes that means driving up and down the interstate looking for violations. Other times, that means parking in the median and looking for speeders. He clocked this person going well over the limit. Do you know how fast we're going? Yes. Yes? Do you know how much? Can you tell me? Yes. I think I, I was coming around 90. Okay, I got you at 85, okay, so you yeah. had already slowed down a bit, all right? Yes, sir. Can I see your driver's license, registration, and insurance, yes. please? The driver got a ticket. So did the passenger after Casillo noticed she wasn't wearing her seatbelt. As the sunlight began to disappear, we headed farther south towards Nogales for a call that could have ended poorly for all involved. There's a report of a dog in the median at kilometer 25. It's just a traffic hazard because people will try and swerve around it and end up rolling over. This is where we met Trooper Oscar Reyna. He explained these kinds of situations happen from time to time in their region, and believe it or not, they can be deadly. So we see a lot of those single vehicle collisions versus animals. Reyna says every trooper has their own style. Oftentimes, the time and location will determine their tactics. I like to do at night a lot of moving patrol because that way I can see the driving behavior of people and uh, try to focus on that and make stops from there. As we did, he noticed a semi truck in front of us swerving in and out of its lane. So I'm going to go ahead and light him up. So I'm going to see why he's driving like that. Hopefully, I mean, I don't know if he's impaired or he's just reaching for something inside, but it's a commercial vehicle. It's a big vehicle. So if he hit something, it's not a good thing. In this case, the driver wasn't impaired, but Reyna says the person wasn't totally focused on the road. However, the driver got off with a warning because a more urgent call came in. Another trooper needed immediate assistance. Eight through six. Our trooper was trying to pull over a vehicle. And they didn't pull over. And they didn't pull over. Like, he's okay. Let me just make quick contact. Four fingers up, man. He's okay. Over the course of our ride along, we learned there's a lot more to being a state trooper than meets the eye. Max Darrow, KGON 9, on your side.